According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, more than 40% of bridges in the United States are at least 50 years old, and almost 47,000 bridges are structurally deficient. It's easy to imagine that this represents a huge task for departments of transportation to monitor and maintain these assets. This is where Bentley Solutions come in. With the help of technology like digital twins, IoT, and artificial intelligence, we are transforming the way this can be done. Let's hear about it from Dustin Parkman, in charge of industry solutions at Bentley. Thank you, Nicholas. You know, the U.S. is just facing an infrastructure crisis because of the number of, of enhancements, rehabilitation that is required, right? There's just simply not enough time and money to, to replace all the things that need to be fixed. So that makes it super critical that we're able to expand the life of these bridges, but we have to do it in a way that's safe. Some of the technology advances that are actually happening in the industry are extremely timely because we need them. We need those productivity gains. So we're able to go out, collect data with drones, with traditional survey techniques, and then feeding that information into a digital twin allows us to reconstruct it, a virtual representation of that particular asset. But then take all the other information that you are collecting and feed that into the digital twin. Many of those data points have been available for some time, but being able to analyze that, interpret it at scale it has traditionally been difficult to do. And so that's where AI really kind of comes in because it allows us to not only analyze the physical pieces, but imagine if you're a planner and you need to be able to analyze and prioritize what needs to happen over a series of bridges, hundreds, thousands in some cases. Trying to do that manually with traditional methods, you basically choke on the data. Whereas AI and digital twins can help you solve that. Being able to decipher that data, analyze that data across a number of bridges all at once is a real game changer. So now you're able to not only understand critical risk points from visual observations through the AI, which is gonna make that more efficient, now you start to understand the natural behavior of the bridge. It's more like a EKG machine for a bridge, but rather than looking at it one dimensionally over a single bridge, you're able to look at that collectively, understand trends and performance across a collection and a portfolio of assets, which is really powerful to help those in charge understand what are the priorities that we need to focus on? How do we deploy our manpower, our intel, our money and time to deliver the greatest value to the community? With this, transportation authorities can extend the lifespan of their assets and deploy their funds more effectively. Thank you, Dustin.